Blanton. What is it? Jenny's loose again. She's heading to the old house. She's got a knife. I saw her. We've got to go after her. We've got to bring her back to the room as quickly as possible. What room? We keep her, in her locked in a room in the basement. Then how did she get through the door? By prayer and fasting? I don't know. Perhaps she stole a key. She's very sly. Who has a key? Beth, of course, and Dirk. Dirk? Well, Dirk helps with it. Beth can't do it alone. Oh, so Dirk knows about Jenny. That means Laura knows. What do you mean? No, I, I don't believe that. You better believe that the problem of Jenny can't be contained within a four walls of a locked room. Not anymore. All right. When we get her back, I'll send her away, far away. No place is far enough. I brought Jenny here. I'm going to see that she leaves. I made the mistake of letting everyone else deal with her. That mistake almost cost me my life. Quentin! What do you mean you're going to see that she leaves? What do you think I mean, sister dear? He's here, I know that. No, he's not here. Don't lie to me. Stop lying to me. Who else is lying to you? Edward and, 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 and the cold one, Judith, and, and sometimes Beth, but that's so much. What's your name? Barnabas. And yours? Jenny. Jenny Collins. Jenny, I am not lying to you. You can come in and see for yourself if Quentin's here or not. Yes, I will. I will do that. Do you see him? Yeah. Sometimes he makes himself invisible. And then, and then all I can hear is his voice tormenting me. Where did you come from? Collingwood. I live there. Is it very lonely for you over there? <laughs> oh, no. You see, I have my children. Children? You mean your dolls, don't you? My children. What's upstairs? You may look if you like. No, no. I must go out and Wait. find him. <laughs> Quentin is not here now, but he's coming back, and he told me to tell you to wait for him. He told you that? Yes. What else did he tell you about me? Did he tell you anything? Did he? Yes. What? He said how beautiful you were. He said that? Yes. That's why he married me. Oh, he was very handsome. Very... Look. Look. <laughs> oh, see? Oh, there were many girls in love with him, but he married me. I am Mrs. Quentin Collins. Who are you? My name is Barnabas. Barnabas? Yes. His family disapproved. Because I was a singer. Hey, do you like singing? Yes. Oh, oh. After the children were born, I, I would sing them to sleep. Shabbat don't you cry. Go to sleep, my little baby. When you wake... Do you know the rest of that? 
No, I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, it used to soothe the babies. You mean the dolls. Oh, why do you keep calling them that? Oh. The boy, he, he would fall asleep almost immediately, but... Oh, the girl, she was more restless. The, she would whimper like a newborn kitten. A boy and a girl. They were afraid some harm would come to them. But I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why, but they took them away. They took my children away. Where did they take them? Where did they take them? They didn't take them anywhere. They were with me. With you? Yes, of course. Why, why, this afternoon I dressed them for the funeral. Oh, oh I want to look in there. You don't want to go in there. Yes, I do. He's not there. Oh, well, I, I, well, let I me look you, there. I tell you, Clinton is not there. No, you lie. You lie, just like all the others. I told you he will be here soon. No, no. He's here now, right now, hiding down there, waiting to kill me. Well, I'm going to kill him instead. No! And if you try to stop me, I'm going to kill you! What's the matter, Jenny? You're going to kill me now. No, I'm Aren't not going to kill you. <laughs> you see, no more knife. But, but Quentin is going to hurt me. No, he's not going to hurt you. But you said he's coming here. Well, why is he coming here? You know why? Because he's in love with you. There were other girls, but he married you. No, oh, yes. Yes, he did. He married me in the church. When, when did you say he's coming back? As soon as he can. And you must be ready for him. I, I don't understand. Don't you want to wash your face and comb your hair and put on a pretty dress so that you can tell him and show him how beautiful you are? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I think I would like to do that. Then come with me, Jenny. Oh. Uh, no, you, you're sure he won't hurt me? You're sure Quentin won't hurt me when he gets back? No, he's not going to hurt you. No one's going to hurt you. I promise you that. I must go now, but I want you to stay here in this room. Yes, until Quentin comes for me. Yes, until Quentin comes for you. Some people will be here to look after you until he comes. Do you understand? Of course. Why shouldn't I?
Don't be frightened. It doesn't matter if his family doesn't like you. Quentin loves you. That's all that matters. Fool. 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 Yes, Jenny. It's me. You were away so long. I, I was beginning to worry. I'm sorry, Jenny. But you'll never have to worry again. It's locked. It's locked. But I have a key, Jenny. I'll be with you very soon. Jenny, Jenny, don't make a noise. I'll be back. Quentin. Are you so fond of her? What is wrong with you, Quentin? Think! I am thinking of you. I'm doing it for you. I swear I am, Beth. You know how I feel about you. She's your wife. Exactly. Please give me the gun. Beth, go back to Collinwood and forget you ever came here. If I leave this house now, I will be an accomplice to her murder. You'll forget that. When we're married. I haven't mentioned marriage before, have I? This isn't quite the reaction I expected. All I can think of is what you have in your hand. Quentin, if you honestly want to marry me... I'm not so sure I do, if this is how you're going to act. Well, it is the way. If you shoot her, how do you think you're going to get away with it? How? Because you're a Collins? That is the truth, isn't it? The Collins are above the law. But this time, you won't get away with it. You would make sure of that? Yes. If you kill Jenny, you're going to have to kill me, too. Are you willing to do that? Where did you get this? I found it here. You are lying. No, I didn't. Yes, you are. Tell me the truth. You know more than you were saying. Tell me. No, Magda. She will tell you nothing. But there are several things you can tell us. Now, what do you know about this? If you want an appraisal, take it to the jeweler. Oh, 
that voice. Stairs. Oh. <laughs> you never to speak to me again. Oh, we were so worried about you after you disappeared from Collinwood. Get out! Quentin is coming. You must not see him. Quentin is at Collinwood. Why? Why did he go there? Did you tell him? I told you yesterday I would kill you both if you told him. Yesterday? That was years ago. Oh, no. No, it was not. You're trying to confuse me. No, it was... Uh, no, it wasn't. Where, where, where is it? Where? Look. Magda. Quentin and I are married. Do you have any idea what it's like to be a Collins? I am a Collins. Quentin loves me. Quentin, look at what he has done. Don't, Don't you, you dare eat? talk to me like that. Don't you say anything about Quentin. You gypsy. You are a gypsy too. What I was is not what I am. What I am is what I will be. Jenny, Jenny. It won't do no good. Oh, why did you ever come here? When I woke up this morning, I looked out my window and there was your caravan. Go back where you came from! Jenny, don't you remember anything? Don't you remember anything since then? My husband, Quentin. Where is he? He, he loves me so much. He, he won't let anybody see me. No, he locked me up here in this room, you know. No, 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 no he didn't. No, that wasn't Quentin. He, Quentin loves me. He... he he does lock me in the room, but that's because he doesn't want anyone to see me. No, he's very jealous. Nobody must see me because he's too jealous. God, God, she has a devil in her. Go, get the cross, get the cross. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. Sister. Sister. Oh, sister. Oh, 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 oh. Jenny, I swear it will be all right, Sandra. 
Victor and I, we just want to take care of you. Jenny! Jenny, the loveliest of us all once, the gayest, the gentlest. Oh, my sister, how can I help you now? only have been her. Did she see the coffin? Did she open it? Is he all right? and Sandor now. You must find him. He is searching the woods. Come. No, no, no. I'm a question. Come. not tell him. Oh, but I must. It will prove how much I love him. I, I will tell him how I felt when I saw that coffin. How, how my heart stopped beating for an instant. No, Jenny, no. You tell nobody. I must. No. He told me that if I loved him enough, everything would be all right. That was long ago. Long ago? I have not known Quentin long. Why did you and that gypsy follow me to Collinwood? Why? Jenny, Jenny, listen to me. You've got to promise that you don't tell nobody about this. It will be our secret. No. I don't want to have a secret with you. Oh, we always had secrets, Jenny. Now we have one more. You tell nobody about this coffin, Jenny. But he's dead. Everybody will find out. The one is dead. There is a funeral. I know that. There won't be no funeral. But there must be. Jenny, he is not dead. Now listen to me, Jenny. You've got to understand. You've got to promise not to tell nobody. If you tell one person, you will die. I will die. Sandor will die. But he's dead. He cannot hurt you. Remember what I have said, Jenny. Do not tell nobody what you have seen. Do you understand? Jenny. Jenny, you know I only want to help you, don't you? When you married Quentin Collins, I did not stop you. I persuaded Sandor not to tell anyone that, that, that you were one of us. When I saw you on the street, I, I, I did not speak. My own sister. Jenny, I did it for you, to help you. 
And now I got to help you different. You got to promise you won't tell no one. You will not speak to me now in front of Judith and Edward if I promise? No, no, I won't. And you will not insult Quentin anymore if I promise? No, of course not. And you will let me leave with Quentin when he comes back for me? I will do what is best for you. Then I have never been in this room. Never. Uh, <laughs> you cannot keep the secret of death any more than of life. Come, let me take you upstairs. Come. Barnabas is dead. He locked me in a room. And then he died. He died. Mm -hmm. 